Your actions have changed the world. Hello, hello, and welcome back to Hitman Free and Ambrose Island. And today we're gonna tackle the A Pirate's Life For Me Redacted Challenge. Now, contrary to what you may have been told, you do not need to light the four braziers to get the outfit and the sword we require. So for today's challenge, we will be starting at the Social Central Hub. We will be wearing the Buccaneers outfit if you have it. And we will have Giles Pirate Saber stored up in our briefcase if you have it. We're also going to bring some coins and our silence pistol. So, right from the start and off the bat, if you do not have the Buccaneers outfit and Jar's Pirate Saber, I highly recommend revisiting Haven Island and taking care of the escalation and the challenges there. To unlock both these items, it will save you a lot of running around lighting braziers and digging up treasure chests. So, with that said, right from the start and off the bat, we are going to put down our beer and make our way out onto the Cove Beach, making sure to take out the sandcastle along the way, and we are heading for the satellite relay area, and we're going to take that out first of all. So, once we're into the cave, we're going to stop inside here, pull out our silenced pistol, Locate the camera at the far end of the cave, take a shot at it and miss. We got it with the second time of asking there, so we are going to have to move away briefly while we wait for the guard to finish panicking and go back to his usual routine. Uh, hopefully this won't take too long. This was my second crack at this, and on my first one I actually got through a whole magazine of the silenced pistols before actually managing to take out the camera. Every shot landed, but only the seventh one actually destroyed the camera and I was waiting around for quite a while. So once the guard loses interest and goes back to his usual routine, we can make our way up onto the beach area here. We're gonna hide behind this crate and drop our briefcase. And we're just going to wait for the guard to be leaning against the boxes ahead of us before we approach. Render him unconscious from over the boxes. We're going to hide his body so that his feet aren't sticking out from the end there. And we're going to take his outfit just to make things a bit easier. So from here we're going to go into the satellite relay area. Being aware of the two enforcers and that panic mode from the guard has kind of messed up my timing a little bit. So we are going to have to work around the enforcers routine. But we're just going to use the server for cover here. Grab the knife from the boxes. And then we're going to have to make our way over to the far side where the two enforcers meet up. And they're going to have a, a quick conversation there and that one of them is going to take a drink and the other one's going to have a cigarette and all we can do is wait we've got no choice in this we're just going to have to wait them out and one of the guards will eventually come back past us and at that point it will be safe to proceed and collect up the screwdriver that's just on the other side of these boxes so the guards should be splitting up around about now. One of them is just reaching for his drink, the other will move away, and the guard who is currently drinking will then make his way past us. Come on sir, that's your big cue, your time to shine. So he's going to move off to the far side of the room. We can now crouch down, make our way around the boxes, and grab the screwdriver from the toolbox here. We're going to vault up onto the relay platform and we're going to use the screwdriver to unhook the panel. We're going to use the folding knife that we've collected to cut the safety wires and then we're going to make our way around to the far side and shut down the relay. So job done. All that's left for us to do is to retrace our steps back out of the area not forgetting to collect up our Buccaneers outfit. Make sure the guard is heading away from you when you're doing this. Also, don't forget your briefcase. 
and then head out into the cove area so that's the satellite relay taken care of we now need to do a little bit of setup work you know we need to firstly get our sword where we want it and get the meeting to take place so we're going to head right along the cove beach right up to Akka's uh, compound here and just in the bushes on our left we will find a route over the wall we're going to drop down the far side use instinct to check on the guard who I can actually see so we're just going to wait here behind this rock for him to turn around and leave and while we're waiting we're going to select our silence pistol and when the patrolling pirate leaves we can then emerge take out both of the cameras on the pole to our right and then make our way out and across the stone bridge now because of the panic earlier my timing is a little bit screwed up and it isn't helped very much by these two you can see here so we're just going to wait for the patrolling guard who always seems to be heading this way no matter what happens when I get here or what time I get here he's always heading straight towards me so we always seem to have to wait for him but once he turns around and walks off we can follow him up into the area we're going to make our way up into the lookout tower and render the guard here unconscious we're going to take his outfit as well. I'm going to move my briefcase because I don't like having my briefcase next to bodies. I end up snapping people's necks. So on our way back down the stairs, we're going to grab the banana from the oil drum there, select our coins, and the patrolling now enforcer is just moving away. So we're going to drop a coin in front of this guard who is apparently as blind as a bat because he is cannot see the coin can you not see that coin look shiny you're a pirate pirates like shiny things no right so the patrolling enforcer will be making his way back by now so we're gonna have to wait this guy out uh, unfortunately oh, mind that we are now gonna have to sit through these two guards conversation so once the guards in place we're just gonna hide behind these boxes here this makeshift table and wait for the conversation to play out and the enforcer to walk away and we're going to try again just drop the coin on the floor hopefully the guard this time is wearing his glasses and he is so when he goes in to grab that coin we want to get behind him render him unconscious as quickly as we can get his body in the box behind us and pick up his gun we're going to leave the coin where it is that will be our distraction for the enforcer when he comes back and he is on his way back already he has a very quiet short routine he just walks that corridor basically but when he comes back he will spot that coin and when he goes in to collect it we can then get behind him render him unconscious we're going to hide his body with his annoying colleague in the crate just behind us. Don't forget to collect up your coin and the gun. Uh, we don't want to leave any evidence behind in this area. So now we're going to select our banana and we're going to place it right here where this brick wall finishes. Just here. And Akka's bodyguard will come along and stand right in that spot and he will then knock himself out. So at this point, all we want to do is make our way back up to the lookout area. Don't worry about changing your disguise. We still need the pirate's disguise. That's the modern day pirate, not the old timey pirate. Uh, but we do want to bring our saber down into the bushes. So we're going to quickly put our pirate's disguise back on. And we're now going to head back to Akka's compound. Uh, just be aware of where Akka is. She's currently in with Agent Smith interrogating him. So we're free and clear to make our way to the radio tower. And we're going to climb up the ladder here. You can go up the stairs. It's just quicker to go up the ladder, I feel. And once up here, we've got one more floor to go up. Uh, up the top here, we do have a patrolling enforcer guard. So just be aware of where he is. Uh, there he is. Hopefully we've got enough time to run up the last flight of stairs, make our way around, render him unconscious. 
we can leave his body there that doesn't matter no one will find him we're gonna set up the meeting by turning on the lights and then we're gonna hot tail it all the way back down to the meeting point where our outfit and our saber is so just be aware of where Akka is at this point as well because she is an enforcer but we've made it past her easily enough we can now go back to the lookout area retrieve our ye olde pirate outfit retrieve our saber and we're just going to wait in the bushes across here from there and what we're going to do now is just wait for the arrival of Akka and Crest and Akka's bodyguard and as soon as Akka's bodyguard slips over on the banana we're just going to bolt from our hiding spot and eliminate both our targets as quickly as possible so ahoy ye land lovers this be a robbery Akka's out of the way. Good work. And that's that. The rest will pick up the pieces. It's time to go for this. So that will get you the A Pirate's Life for Me challenge without having to run all the way around the map lighting braziers and digging up treasure chests. So all that's left for us to do is to make good our escape and you could take the submarine exit if you wish. Uh, but I'm going to go for the cove boat exit so I can keep my nice pirate's outfit. So into the second from last house underneath the bricks we find the key for the boat and away we go. Back to our schooner and our gang. Someone get the rum open. So there we go, one more challenge taken care of. I have been Anubis and I will see you all in the next video.